everyone. I have been exploring chin rests quite extensively over the last couple of months because I've been trying to find a suitable replacement for my Stuber, which they don't make anymore. I'll show you my Stuber in a second. But I have in my possession a new, newly invented chin rest. You probably have heard of it. It's called the Wave. The Wave has three models. There's the Wave 1, the Wave 2, and then the Wave Da Capo. And I'm going to show you the differences between those three. And I figured while I'm snooping through the world of chin rests, I might as well give you the benefit of having these chin rests in my possession so that you can kind of see what they're all about and maybe one of these will seem right for you. Before we get started with these on my violin, let me put them down and show you my current chin rest. And I want to also show you how I hold the violin because you need to know where I'm coming from as a player because each of our personal geometries is different. Some people hold their heads facing forward, some turn their heads to the left, uh, some turn their violins way to the left, some have their violins more at a 45 degree angle, and that all makes a huge difference in what chin rest you're going to prefer. Not to mention neck height and general height in addition uh, as well. Okay, so this is my current chin rest. It's called a, a Stuber or Stuber. It features a nice, pretty tall chin rest that then dips down dramatically about where the jawbone hits. And it allows a nice comfortable exit point, but it has this tall hump or lip which hooks the player under the jawbone um, that really gives a feeling of security. Anyway, I like my chin rest a lot. I'm not looking for one for me. I'm looking for good chin rests for my students. So anyway, this is how I hold the violin. My head is facing forward. I'm an orchestral player, so my head is forward, but it's not locked. I always turn my head every which way when I'm playing. It's important to have a certain degree of freedom and to not be locked into one position. But you can see I hold at a 45 degree angle, and that's largely due to my arm length. If I held my violin out to the left more, I wouldn't be able to draw a straight bow on the G string. So anyway, I'm a 45 degree angle with my face facing forward. All right, now let's put one of these uh, waves on and start discussing the differences between them. First of all, let me show you the three models side by side so that you can sort of see the physical differences between them. We've got over here, we have the wave two. In the center, we have the wave one. And over here on my left, your right, we have the wave de capo. And I believe, let's talk about this one first. This is an extremely low chin rest on the chin rest cup portion. Because it's a center mount, chin rest, see the, the hump or the tunnel that has to go over your tailpiece because it's a center mount. It has to have that tunnel, so it has to be a certain height. Therefore, this, this portion can only go so low. So you can see that the tailpiece is actually going to be quite a bit higher than your chin. And it's pretty dramatic how low they were able to get this. So the wave one also is a center mount, okay? Um, the wave one features a deeper cup cutout right here. Um, from the top view, the wave one and the wave two are very similar. Try to get the light shining on, on them the same. From the top view, they're pretty cookie cutter the same. Obviously, the de Capo is dramatically different because it has no chin rest material here in this section because the cup is so low, the chin rest would be sitting right on the tailpiece and it would be a big mess. So that's the big difference between the de Capo and these other two is the fact that the chin rest cup is quite small due to the fact that it, it can't go over the tailpiece. Okay, but these two are very similar from an aerial view, 
very similar, but the wave one is purportedly favorable to musicians whose heads face forward. It has a deeper cup cut out, a deeper scoop, and it has a more pronounced drop off. Like my Stuber, I think I might like this one. So you can see from the back view, there, there's a good view right there. You can see that dramatic drop. Let's compare it with this one, the Wave 2, there. It also has a drop there, but it's not quite as dramatic and it doesn't have as pronounced of a lip or a hump and it doesn't have as much of a scooped out chin rest cup. Let's see if we can get the light. Now that makes them both look kind of similar, but trust me, this wave one has a deeper scoop in the cup and a more pronounced lip and the lip goes on for longer. It goes a little bit further past the tailpiece before it starts to drop. The wave two starts to drop a little earlier. It's really hard to be able to tell that from the camera, especially with my limited workstation here, but that is the facts. Let's check them out on the violin. Okay, so I have the Da Capo installed on my violin, and I have to say the construction of these chin rests is gorgeous. You've got the elegant gold mounts here. You have this beautiful light wood, and it's lightweight. I mean, these chin rests weigh nothing. And the wood uh, that these are made of is called padauk, padauk wood, P-A-D-A-U-K. Never heard of that wood before, but my violin sounds fantastic. I know that the inventor, Randall Olson, went above and beyond to adapt the mounts for minimal pressure and minimal contact on the violin, and I can tell. My violin is even more resonant and free than with my Stuber. All of the waves are center mounted. You, you don't get to choose whether you get center or side mount. Technically, the center mount is better for the violin because this center portion of the violin has a wood block inside and it, can, it has more integrity, more stability. When you clamp here, it doesn't jeopardize the violin as much as when you clamp on the side, which is where my Stuber clamps. So I just, I use the side mount Stuber because that's my only option and I love my Stuber. Uh, the other feature I notice about the, the wave, all of the waves, is this the fact that it, it extends out beyond the violin slightly. And that's new, that's very, very unique. You can see it against my face there really well. That's very unique and what that gives you is a lot of stability whether you turn your head or not. There's going to be that chin rest there. So it, it, it's a unique concept and I quite like it. This nice low chin rest is good for me because I'm 5'2". My neck length is pretty average. It's not real short. It's hard to, to determine how to measure your neck. I'm not going to even try to give you a millimeter length on my neck. <laughs> because I, it's just there's too much hit and miss with the measuring of the neck. But I know that I have a short-ish neck because I'm a short-ish person. So I really like this de capo for my height. Um, I guess I'll let you hear what the violin sounds like with this uh, de capo on. And then I'd like to play it with my Stuber on because you need to hear the comparison. I haven't warmed up yet today. So just listen to the violin, not to me. Okay, so that's the de capo. Okay, here's my Stuber back on, and let's hear what it sounds like. Now 
now let's try the wave one. Okay, so this is the wave one on my violin right now. You can see I'm, I'm using the one inch uh, chin rests because I know that the one and a quarter and the one and a half inches are gonna be too, too high for me. But you need to be aware that you can buy these in different heights depending on your neck length. Okay, so this is the wave one. It also features that extension back behind the edge of the violin. The wave one, remember, has a deeper lip, which oops, didn't get this tight enough. The lip gives a little hook to hook us under the gills so that the violin doesn't slip away. And I really like that feature about the the wave one. Now, when you put your violin up, you really don't want your neck or your head to have to go anywhere. This is feels very familiar to my Stuber. My neck moves maybe a half an inch. You can see I'm going like that. Very slight. And I think I do the same with my Stuber. So this sounds just as good as the, the uh, Da Capo. <laughs> gives me a big resonant G. I honestly, I like the feel of this better than the decapo. Now, that doesn't mean that it's best, it just means for my geometry. I'm surprised that I like something that high, and yet I suspect if we were to measure, that's 23 millimeters at its highest, not including the cork, and this is 26 millimeters, not including the cork at its highest point. So yeah, this is still a little bit higher, and I'll tell you a little secret. I added two layers of cork to my Stuber to boost it up a little bit higher. So that's probably why I'm kind of liking this Wave 1. And remember the Wave 1 supposedly is for players whose heads face forward. So let's see how the Wave 2 feels for me, a person who's, who prefers her head facing forward as opposed to turning off to the left. Let's just see how they feel different. Okay, so this is the Wave 2 that I have installed on my violin right now. Isn't it nice looking? If I were to get a chin rest, I think I'd want a tail piece made out of the same wood. That would look really cool. <laughs> anyway, um, so immediately it feels less at home for me because because it feels higher, even though it's also just a one inch chin rest, and so was the Wave 1, it was a one inch chin rest. Um, it feels higher because the scoop isn't there, it's not scooped out as much, so my, my chin is feeling stretched out a little bit. But the more I play with it, the better it feels. So the Wave is on to something. For all three of these models to feel pretty good to me is saying something because I'm extremely picky. Let's hear what it sounds like, and then I'll let you hear the, the Stuber. Okay, here's the wave two. Here's my Stuber back on, and let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, and yeah, the more I play on this one, the more I prefer the Wave 1. Um, the cool thing about the Wave is if you buy one, they'll send you three other models to experiment with because it is nice to be able to swap out, play on one for a day, and, and 
try a different one the next day or for an hour at a time. But overall, the Wave is a very nice chin rest. Um, can work for people. I like the fact that it has the lip that my Stuber has. I think that's missing on so many chin rests. Um, would I swap it for my Stuber? Probably not, because I'm so emotionally attached to my Stuber. I just have an unnatural attachment to it. So in summary, the Wave 1, 2, and Decapo are all very nice products, well made. I love the wood. It's beautiful and it makes my violin sound fantastic. Um, comfort wise, decent and very innovative with the extension slightly past the edge of the violin. It's worth trying out, I think, if you are in the market for a chin rest, especially the fact that you can try out four if you buy one. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.